Hey guys, welcome. Example two here. And um, yeah, so if we evaluate the limit as is, we're going to get zero over zero, where we know we can use L'Hopital's, right? And as I said in example one, I have a lot of videos on L'Hopital, so check them out. But yeah, um, here, as the title says, we're going to use series. Um, and as we did in example one, we're going to start with the Maclaurin series for e to the x. And ultimately, we're going to start here and to try to um, find a Maclaurin series expression for this whole quotient that we want to take the limit of. And we're hoping that um, the Maclaurin series for this quotient uh, won't get us a 0 over 0, and it won't. All right. So uh, to get to the Maclaurin series uh, for this whole quotient, we need to first find the Maclaurin series for e to the 2x squared. And we can get there by simply modifying the Maclaurin series for e to the x, where we replace all of the x's with 2x squared. And you can see that I've done that in red, in at least the first four terms that I've displayed, right? And dot, 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 and use your imagination. All right, now next we're going to uh, simplify these first four terms. Uh, for example, the third term, uh, 2x squared all squared, can be written as... 4x to the fourth, um, and so uh, we do that, and we get this. And in my next step, I'm going to do two things. One is, so as to get the numerator of our quotient, I'm going to subtract um, one from both sides of this very last equation I've displayed. Um, at the same time, I'm going to also simplify the one thing I can simplify, which is in the third term, 4 divided by 2 factorial is 2. So doing both, we'll get the following, which is this, right? Okay, cool. And then anticlimactically, we're going to divide on both sides of this very last equation I've displayed by x squared, and that's that. And a little bit more simplifying is left to do, x squared over x squared is 1, and so on. And so simplifying a little bit more, we get this, which is, as desired, a Maclaurin series expression on the right-hand side uh, for our quotient. And we're ready to take the limit as x goes to 0. And uh, no surprise that we get 2, because all of the terms, except for the very first term, have at least an x squared in them. So as x goes to 0, they all vanish to 0. And so our limit is 2. Our third and final example is... Uh, much more challenging, so check it out. All right, keep watching. Take care.